Welcome to Stars TV, your behind the scenes look of the NSC Minnesota Stars professional soccer team. I'm your host Scott Clayson. The Stars were happy to be co-sponsors on Thursday, June 10th of the Minnesota premiere of the soccer documentary Pelada. This movie documents two former college soccer players who traveled around the globe playing pickup soccer and the movie is a result of that journey. Now at the screening which happened at Brit's Pub, Gwendolyn Oxenham, one of the producers of the movie, was on hand to answer questions. Stars TV talked to Gwendolyn about what went into the making of this movie. All four of us grew up playing pickup soccer. Uh, every summer I played with the guys in the outfield of a baseball diamond. And then um, when I played soccer at Duke and then I had thought that I would all I wanted was to be the best player in the world and then all of a sudden your college career is ending and they're kind of patting you on the back and telling you to find a new life. So I was working as a deckhand on a boat in Mexico and it was my first summer without soccer uh, and there was this island where uh, so Mexican soldiers were stationed and they had giant machine guns and machetes and uh, but behind them there was a soccer field. So I dingied over and I made kicking gestures and within uh, 10 minutes I'm taking pictures or I'm holding their guns and drinking beer and sharing goal celebrations and the way that Pickup can do that and can take two strangers and make them friends uh, was really cool to us and no one had really focused on Pickup soccer and I, mean, I think that's the, the form of the game that really shows just how expansive and worldwide it is. soccer game means it doesn't count. There's no one watching except it's for you and it's not for anybody else. We played with 80 year old guys in Brazil who play barefoot every Sunday morning and beat the heck out of each other and um, watching the way they had kept the game all those years it was pretty inspiring. Uh, in Kenya we played with uh, guys who do ma hard manual labor all day long making moonshine. Um, they start at 4 a.m. and don't get done till six and then they go play afterwards on a field that used to be a garbage dump and you can still the, the trash still comes up out of the ground and uh, s seeing that was was pretty unforgettable when you're a girl and you walk up to a game uh, in foreign countries people immediately look at you like who is this girl and why is she trying to play with us but as soon as you do one solid move or pass uh, people freak out and love it and totally embrace the girl in England, it's kickabout. In Trinidad, it's taking a sweat. In uh, Uruguay, it's footballito. And uh, pelada was the word in Brazil uh, for pickup games. And what pelada literally means is naked. And we thought that was because it's the most bare form of the game. It's the game stripped down uh, to its core. So uh, it was just a beautiful word that we thought best embodied the spirit of, of the form. We want to thank everyone who came out to Brit's Pub and made it such a great event. Now as Gwendolyn mentioned, the term Pelada is actually a Brazilian word for pickup soccer. And the Stars are happy to have their first Brazilian player now on our roster. Jason Mora joined the team a couple of weeks back and was on the field as the Stars scored the winning goal against the Montreal Impact in their game last Wednesday in which they were victorious one to nothing. Star TV talked to Jason about his journey in becoming a Stars player. I came here to US in 2007 to play indoor. You know, I played with New Jersey Ironman with the uh, ex national US goalie um, Tony Meola. And then I've been playing indoor for like three years, and now uh, I came here to try to play outdoor, and I think I did well. Manny gave me the opportunity. Simone Coming in for Danny. You and Neil are in the middle. They battle together. Yeah. Right. Try to get forward, but also make sure you go forward and you back. Okay? okay? Make sure you guys are kept good structure. Alright, see the game out the right way. Okay? See if you can find something okay. for us, but also make sure we close it out, okay? Yeah. Alright, good luck. Um, what's the transition been like for you from indoor to outdoor? Um, wasn't that hard because I played outdoor in Brazil before. So Basically, I just trying to remember and adapt. Jason, defensive free kicks get in the wall. Okay. I came from Sao Paulo, 
And you know, I grew up with soccer. You know, in Brazil, everything is soccer, the commercial. Wherever you go, you see soccer, TV. So that's you know basically what we have in Brazil because country we we don't have that much money over there. So basically, we we cannot play other sports that you have to buy stuff, you know. So soccer with the ball, we can play like 22, 23 people, you know. So that's why most of Brazilians, they, they play soccer. Well, I'm sure Jason will be seeing some action next week because it's going to be a busy week for the Stars with four matches. They'll start on Tuesday, 7 o'clock kickoff against the Kansas City Athletics in the first round of the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup. Then they'll travel to Portland, Oregon to take on the Timbers on Thursday night. That'll be a 9 p.m. local start here in Minnesota. And then both teams, Portland and Minnesota, travel back here to play Saturday night in the NSC Stadium, 7 p.m. kickoff. And then, don't forget, we have a special friendly against the Chicago Fire the next day, Sunday, July 20th, kickoff 5 p.m. Tickets for both of those games are available on our website now. And that's going to do it for this week's episode of Stars TV. As always, you can find us on our website, nscminnesota.org, and I'm your host, Scott Clayson. Hey, Lada. Did I say June 9th? Yep. That's when the game was. That, that's why I had June 9th in my head. As far as you know, I'm ready. <laughs> so we're very grassroots. We raised all of our money from donations from the soccer community, and we still owe $40,000. So we're uh, selling DVDs online and hoping that we could eventually claw our way back up to even.